As we know, the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So we need to find those to find this equation, this line. So for the gradient, we're going to have uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's sub our numbers in. y2, 13, minus y1, 5, divided by x2, 7, take away 3. So 13 take away 5 is 8, 7 take away 3 is 4, so my um, gradient is 2. So let's sub that into our equation. So it's now y equals 2x plus c. To find c, I'm going to substitute into this equation one of my two points, 3, 5 or 7, 13. Now I'm going to pick 3, 5 because they are the smallest numbers. So I'm going to sub these in. So the y becomes a, a 5. It's going to equal to 2 times, and the x becomes a 3, so that's the x coordinate plus c. So I get 5 is equal to 6 plus c. So now I'm going to solve this equation. So I take away 6 from both sides, and I get c is equal to negative 1. So putting that back into our equation, we finally get there that y is equal to 2x plus negative 1, or, as it's more commonly written, 2x minus 1. And there's our equation. Here's this second example with the points negative 2, 2 and 2, 0. So I've got my line y equals mx plus c, so I've got to find the m and the c. So m, start with, so remember that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Substitute in my points, well, I've got y2, so in that case this is 0, minus um, y1, that's 2. We've got x2 is 2, and um, x1 is negative 2. Put that in brackets. So what we get, we'll get 0 take away 2 is negative 2. 2 take away negative 2, well, that's the same as 2 add 2, so that's 4. So my gradient is negative half. So substitute that m into my equation, I get y equals negative half x plus c. Now I'm going to substitute one of my two points into this uh, equation to find c, so I'm going to put in 2, 0. So if I substitute in 2, 0 into my equation, the y becomes 0, is equal to negative a half times uh, 2, and the x becomes a 2 plus c. Now I need to solve this equation. So 0 is equal to... So 0 is equal to negative half times 2, well that's negative 1 plus c, so c is equal to 1. Therefore my equation is y is equal to negative a half x plus 1.